Today on Backpacker Diaries, we're gonna have a look at these Manfrotto hiking and walking poles that I am testing out today. They feature a camera mount at the top. They weigh about 0.8 pounds and they have a twisting telescope lock. Here is an adapter that's sold separately online that'll easily accommodate your smartphone. I've got an iPhone 5 today that I can easily clip in just like that. And from there, it will easily screw in to these Monfrotto walking poles here. So this ends up being a great way to reduce your pack weight, especially if you're like me and you've been carrying around a tripod. Also, you can leave behind your camera at home and just clip your smartphone into this setup here. And it's designed to handle a payload of five pounds. There it is. And we're guessing that that camera weighs three or four pounds. Three or four-ish huh? pounds. It's not a light camera at all. Of course, the iPhone is lighter than five pounds. Still not as stable as a tripod, but it will allow you to take much more stable videos and photos instead of the handheld method like I'm using right now. These Monfrotto walking sticks, they pack down to about, oh, maybe six inches longer than my forearm to extend them. First, there's a built-in mark on the bottom section that says to stop right there. And you just have to keep twisting and twisting till it locks. Then there's these handy hash marks that show how many centimeters long you're making it. And these poles extend to a maximum length of just over 130 centimeters. Going uphill, I locked down at about 120 and found no difficulty with it slipping like I found with other poles from like Black Diamond. They make a, a hiking pole that I recently took back because the locking mechanism, I find it just wasn't strong enough, even with the screws tightened all the way down. But so far, these Monfrotto walking sticks with the built-in camera mount have been treating me very well with no slipping problems. Something I have noticed about these Monfrotto off-road hiking poles is that the metal, while being lightweight, is also less durable than other poles. On my hike last weekend, I got a dent in the side of it right there after taking a little bit of a tumble. And now the pole doesn't retract fully. I've been using these Monfrotto poles for about a month now on my weekly long hike. And unfortunately, one of the metal pins with the red plastic piece that allows the twist and lock feature has become stuck inside of the handle piece. So fortunately, this product does include a two-year warranty. So I'm going to send it off to Chandler, Arizona and hope for the best. At the same time, I'm hoping I can get the other pole fixed, the one that's got the dent that prevents the full telescope feature. Manfrotto didn't honor the warranty because I bought it from a seller on Amazon that was not an authorized dealer. Just be aware that if you do buy a pair of these poles, buy it from a reputable source. If you're paying less than the manufacturer's suggested retail price, it's a better chance that it's gonna be an unauthorized dealer. I did buy it off of Amazon for less than the retail price of $100. I paid about $84. They did give me the option to buy a pair of new poles at a discount because I do like the utility and function of these poles with the camera mount here. I liked it enough to go ahead and buy another pair. It's disappointing that it wasn't covered under warranty. In conclusion, they make for a handy camera mount without having to bring a tripod. They're lightweight, but the downside is that it's made out of a delicate lightweight metal, so you do need to take it easy with these poles. The twist and lock mechanism can get caught inside and just know that that's not able to be fixed and that will mean replacement. And be sure you buy it from a reputable dealer for the warranty to be valid. And that's all for now. See you next time.